Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Risk of Rain 2. In the last video, I took a test run of my new broadcasting and recording settings and made it all the way to Voidling. <clears throat> if you haven't already watched it, you totally should, because it was such a vibe, and you can find these recordings live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash wildfire <clears throat> So I finally set out to tackle Voidling once and for all. <laughs> You should get good Coyote Wild streamer. Don't you have like a billion hours in Risk of Rain? My grandma be voiding first try with one arm behind your back. No. <laughs> While yes, I do have over 600 hours in Risk of Rain 2, have played the game since its launch into early access in March 2019, and nearly 200 hours of the first Risk of Rain any game so heavily dependent on RNG as a core gameplay mechanic, <laughs> such as a roguelike, <clears throat> regardless of how high the skill ceiling or the respective skills of the player may be, will have an element of luck to each and every run. Yeah, but all you need to do is get shaped glass with 57 leaf clover and royal capacity. <sighs> Easy there, eyeball Paul. You're talking about an ideal situation in a vacuum where a very specific set of circumstances have met just right in a game that literally has the word risk in its name. Uh, by no means do I consider myself an expert at the game, nor do I pretend to know all the ins and outs of every aspect of what goes into the game's mechanics to the finest detail. Please bear in mind, I'm merely giving you the takeaways from my own experience and sharing with you the factors that took Risk of Rain from another roguelite RNG's facsimile to a truly magical gameplay loop that's held my attention for more than just a few runs. We already understand that the game gets harder as the game progresses. With a game that guarantees little between run to run and provides only the slightest modicum of control by which to change any given circumstances you find yourself in, you need to focus on what you can control. Which leads us to lesson one. Agency is everything. While reaching Mythrix and beating him once or twice, when the stars align and you're stacked with ATGs, bands, clovers, meat hooks, ukuleles, and a nice Dio's or two is certainly an accomplishment to be proud of, we can't guarantee such an ideal kit every run. So instead of telling you all these builds and combinations or stressing about the best items you need for every run to maximize your EP and credibility as you drop your Magnum Gamer Dong on Mythrix like a dig bick in a locker room, I'm instead going to share with you what these runs have taught me. Such as, take a minimal amount of time looking around the level for loot. You can control how far you've allowed the difficulty slider to slip just by keeping an eye on that timer. Or, scrappers are your friend, but only use them when you're confident enough to know that you don't need the effects of the item scrapped. Remember, a scrapper consumes the entire stack of the item you select, which is great, up until you realize that the majority of your DPS came from all of the first hit crowbar damage that you were dumping into your enemies, and now you have a pile of scrap in your inventory waiting to reach its full potential. In the event that you see a printer for an item that you absolutely need for your build, but let's say you don't have any scrap, print a couple anyway. Although there's a chance that the printer will consume a valuable item, the trade-off is, is that you're printing for a more valuable item that you know will be essential to your run. And finally, target priority. The easiest and most accessible thing you can control is the enemies you kill. When faced with hordes of mobs, and oh, oh buddy do they mob, an ever-increasing difficulty, limited range of movement during a teleporter event, and a director that likes to choose the most inconvenient time to drop a herd of bighorn bison, threat assessment is essential. If your boss is a beetle queen with beetles, beetle guards, a few lesser wisps, and an overloading brass contraption, you better believe you're going to focus on that electric bellboy because one spiky ball to the bum and your run is done. Lesson 2. Consistency is king. Staying vigilant to maintain situational awareness will keep you grounded steadily throughout your runs, regardless of your kit. You can find yourself reliably dropping Mythrix on Monsoon when you keep yourself consistent from level to level, run to run. Find a character you like most, and are most comfortable with. Build upon that and stick with it through multiple runs. What characters are objectively better is less important than becoming proficient at one or two characters, and any character has the potential to have a killer run. Also, tend to favor spending your money on items that will last. Chests, for instance, where you're guaranteed to keep the item in your kit for the duration of your run until expired or scrapped, instead of things like chance shrines or drones. Lesson 3. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. 
any seasoned veteran will tell you that clearing a map of all loot almost always wastes more time, thus translating into higher difficulty, than the effect of the item would benefit you. Cut your losses and aim to be out of a given stage between the 5 to 6 minute mark. Use things like Shrines of Blood and Shrines of Combat earlier in your runs to get that added boost of gold while you wait for the director to spawn enough enemies to buy loot. Kill enemies as you navigate from place to place and do not wait in one place for enemies to spawn just to get the added gold for this one chest you found. Make a mental note of the location and return later. Additionally, you can find clever ways to make the most efficient use of your time, like waiting until the end of the teleporter event to open the chests that are near it or returning to the one that you made the mental note of. Lesson 4. High Risk, High Reward Pushing yourself to be comfortable in less than ideal circumstances will help you more readily adapt to situations and make faster judgment calls. The more adept you become to playing aggressively and pacing your decisions against the tick of the timer, the more you'll be able to discern moments where you need to pull back, play defensively for a moment before jumping back into the fray. Do things like innovate. Once you're comfortable and confident in your consistency, break the mold from time to time and try something new. Recently, I severely underestimated just how valuable the eccentric face was until I started skipping pillars on commencement and shaved 10 to 15 minutes off my runs. And die. Die a lot. A lot. Risk of Rain has only two outcomes, your win condition or death. But what's the loss if you die? You made a poor judgment call or you misplayed the cards that were dealt and got slapped down on stage one or two. At most, you've lost 10 to 15 minutes of time. And this is a far, far more favorable situation than two and a half hours of struggling your way through to Mythrix just to find yourself at the tail end of a game of f around and find out. And last, lesson five, have fun. At the end of the day, this is a game. Hopu has been clear that even above balance itself, the driving idea behind the items, the experiences, and the gameplay loop in Risk of Rain is to have fun. Yes, we all get sweaty. Yes, we all get frustrated when our god run turns our epic momentum into epic failure. And yes, even the best players die. So take a deep breath, step away, return once you're more clear-headed, and enjoy the application of these principles as I take on Voidling. Alright, here we go. So I play on Monsoon. For those who are not necessarily initiated, Monsoon is the hardest difficulty... TM. It's not, but we'll, it's the hardest selectable difficulty at this point. Um, and I do not use artifacts. I play it pretty much vanilla, no mods. All right. What about Eclipse? And there's a mod, which is basically God mod, um, which makes it even harder. Sweet. All right, here we go, here we go. So pacing, pacing is everything. Timer in the upper right hand corner. The more time that you spend, the harder the game. Oh my God, a plasma shrimp right out the gate. Ooh, yes, please. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's where, that's where the portal is. Oh yeah, okay, I will happily take that. Yep, thank you. But we're gonna do things a little bit different. One of the things that I advised was to innovate. Oh my God, ATG. I mean, granted, Granted, I've already got the plasma shrimp, so there's that, but all right, we got DPS. We got DPS. One more item, and then we're out of here. We are ahead of tempo this time. Let's capitalize on that. I don't think so, buddy. Get out. Engineer is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just bad at it. <laughs> like, I like engineer. I'm just bad at it. Oh my. Oh, we're building DPS tonight, folks. Ooh, we're building DPS. This could be a good run. Let's go. Okay. Okay. We've got a scrapper. We're going to make use of that and we're going to pick up as much as we can. With us being ahead of tempo, I have a lot, a lot working for me here. I can print two bleed. Come on. Come on. Let's 
See, unless then, like, what character is better or what character is objectively more powerful, really what you should be focusing on is just getting proficient at a character. One or two characters and any character has the potential to do... I mean, oh my god, yes, bands. Oh my god, yes, please. But you have you have so much potential for any character to get a solid run. Crazy and Iris loves Huntress. Yeah, let's go. Oh, don't you worry. You'll be seeing some Huntress on this channel. Her and Bandit are my mains. Yo, so I actually took a test today. I took a test and I was what what character are you? Like what Risk of Brain 2 character are you? And I actually got Bandit. I got Bandit. With where I'm at right now and the pacing that I'm at, it's been working out wondrously. So I might be able to capitalize on that and really be able to accelerate my run accordingly. Uh, take down Eyeball Paul pretty early. That would be cool. Guarantees me a red. And that is Pocket ICBM. Oh! All right. We gonna do it. Yes! Oh, that was like the best, the best outcome. I mean, okay, maybe I could have taken Gorst home, but seriously, that's so good. That is so worth. Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! The damage, the absolute savagery. It's so good. The pocket ICBM causes an extra two streams for every missile that you fire. And you get so much of that already just from the plasma shrimp alone. That is insane. Pax. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought I had him right before his next pop. All right, get those shields back. Get those shields up. Come on. Goodbye. All right, what have we got? What have we got? You know what? I will take it. It's not my favorite, but it will work. So we're going to go back and loop. And this is something that I don't usually do because I'm usually trying to get get there as quickly as possible and then just find him before he gets too strong. I am well, well ahead of tempo. And the kit here is good. So we're going to build it up and we're going to keep pushing. It's not Nope, I am not. I can't. I can't take shape glass. Cannot take shape glass. I would love a death mark, though. I really would love a death mark. up let's go let's go oh it got me sweating now oh what a tragedy that was that was such a good run and so set up for success i don't know i don't know what that speed run time i <laughs> yes Because if I can get the neural, oh, ATGs and a neural. Nice. OK, this is setting us up for some success here. Let's go. OK, OK, we've got we've got some of our DPS back from like what we had in the first run. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Here we go. Golden portal. <laughs> Oh, 
my god! Two-ton terror! Let's go! That's a 2% terror right there. Let's get it. Oh, I'm happy about that. Woo! There's a 2% chance. 2% chance to be able to get a red item out of a small chest like that. I don't know. I am very aggressive, very face forward, and very much like... I want to break your back, make you humble. There we go. Oh boy. All right. All right, you know what we're gonna do? Doesn't look like there are any other chests to worry about at the moment. So we're gonna go straight for the boss fight and we're gonna pick up everything else uh, afterward. Wait, so Megan, we're already done. Oh my God. <laughs> Aurelia and I just like, nah, bitch, get out of here. Yo, holy smokes. I did not anticipate that. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Another band. I am very happy with this outcome. Okay. We're gonna get uh, another crit glasses. All right, I've got two now. I don't think I have enough for that, do I? Oh, I do. Sheesh. Onwards and upwards, my friend. Oh, that's, that's pretty juicy though. That is pretty juicy. Okay, it was a trade. I try one more. Sure, I guess. Ruin my day. Wow, that is also three challenges of the mountains. Am I biting off more than I can chew? Square, 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 square. Okay. Triangle. This is my contingency. All right. If things go belly up on me. Oh. In that boss fight, I've got Bulwark's Ambry to dive back into. Okay, he's down. Nice. Mmm, ATGs. Good. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. Now, here's the beautiful part about this, by the way. You can skip the teleporter event, the rest of the teleporter event now. I've got the items. Now we just go. We just go to Bulwark's Ambry and we're done. There we go. I forgot I had to pick up the, uh, the artifact. Oh my god, that is a symbiotic scorpion! Oh! Wow! Wow! Okay, okay. What do we get? What do we get? Come on, please, something. Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> we got a Dios! Holy smokes! Got a Dios. Worth. 100% worth. Absolute worth. The value on that was disgusting. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, wow. Hard Light Afterburner gives me two extra charges to my shift. The blink here. <laughs> I can honestly not believe the ridiculous number of missiles flying around the screen at all times. This is absolute madness. Yes, yes, an echo with wings, 100%. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is a 57 leaf clover! Oh, yes, please!
please. Thank you, Neko. But by and large, if you like the vo uh, void, if you like the vibe that you have here, you'll like it over there, too. I'm so excited. Like, the video is literally done apart from... Apart from... The, um... Oh my god! Uh, apart from the Voidling. So, if I can, if I can Voidling... If I can Voidling good tonight... Then I got a video to produce this week, and I'm excited about that. Bye, Mythrix! Get bent! Oh! Where, where is... Oh. Where did they go? I can't... Oh! 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 Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Oh! I'm in trouble. This took a turn that I did not anticipate. No, 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 I got my Dios, I got my Dios. I am literally shitting my pants right now. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta get myself some distance. Oh my God. <gasps> I I have absolutely no idea, but here we go. We, we got him down. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous about this. Oh, there is more. Oh, yes, you can. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you didn't know. Okay. Phase one, down. I'm following you. Don't think I'm not. Where are you? Come here. Phase two, down. Ugh. Where'd you send me? Shoot, okay. Crap, I gotta get in, I gotta get in. Ooh, it's collapsing, it's collapsing! Let's go. What? Yes! Yes! Oh! oh my God! You are insane. Thank, thank you, Neff. Thank, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Yo, my guys. Oh, I'm about that. I am so about that. Let's go, folks. We did it. We did it. Yes. Oh, my God. I got one shot by this boss. You just did the Uno reverse. No, you. You have activated my trap card. Back it in, folks. We did it. We did it. We actually did it. Oh. I still don't even have all the items unlocked. Nev, oh my gods. I mean, honestly, if you get the chance to actually experience it and play it for yourself and go get it done, like, it, it's well worth it, especially, especially for moments like this. <laughs> Tucci over there be like, hi, YouTube. We were here live, YouTube. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, everybody. <sighs>
Oh. Feel good. I feel good. <laughs>